Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Brittany and I upload lots and lots of new makeup content every single week. So if you want new makeup content in your life, if you just want to hang out and have a good time, please subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate you so, so much. And to those of you who are returning viewers, thank you. You are the best. So before we jump into the video, go get a snack, get comfy, and let's hang out. So if, as you can hear, it's thundering, it's, it's storming, raining, like we have, we're under tornado watches. It's just been a crazy few days in Arkansas, so if you hear everything rumbling, just please just know it's storming, and everything just fell behind me, and it gave me a heart attack, so, you know, I just kind of propped everything up. It is what it is. As you can hear, I'm really sick. I've got a sinus infection. The pollen is kicking my butt. It's not a pretty sight, but... I just wanted to film and hang out with y'all, forget about being sick and all that, and just play with some makeup. In today's video, I'm so, so excited because I'm going to be doing three looks with this beautiful palette right here. This is uh, the Pat McGrath Labs in collaboration with Bridgerton. I do have a review up on my channel if you're curious, but I wanted to come back and do three more looks, maybe inspire you. I wanted to come back and do some more looks with this palette. Um, I just cannot get enough. It's so, so good. I'm also going to be playing with the blush palette and the little highlighter in this palette, so if that sounds like a video yeah, then you want to watch then just keep watching okay so as far as the blush palette goes i've already reviewed it but um i absolutely love how cute this is as decor the blushes are like they are just beautiful you know you know pat mcgrath has got a bomb blush formula the highlighter is really a dud it's just like a glittery bomb on your face and it doesn't it just doesn't look that good on your skin um but or you know i still use it because it's cute what can i say but just so you know the blushes are really really good i'm gonna go i'm gonna mix the peachy and the pink because why not and girl these are pigmented just make sure you tap off all the extra because they are so pigmented if you if this video is like kind of choppy i have to edit like all the parts where i'm coughing out so if it looks a little odd it's because i'm coughing and editing coughing and <laughs> editing that out Okay, that's better. Now you can see what I'm doing. So I just mixed the peachy and the pink, tapped off, and let's just go in. Just go in with a light hand because you can go zero to clown really quick with this um, little palette. It's very pigmented. So y'all are going to have to let me know, did you get anything from this collection? I really, really want a lipstick so bad. But I'm definitely, I'm on a no-buy. So if they still have them, whenever I come off my no buy, I'm definitely going to pick up a lipstick. Maybe her next sale because they're so cute and I can't resist. I really need it. <laughs> okay, so so now I'm going in with the highlighter. Um, it's not my favorite, but um, it's just really glittery. I'm sorry for all the thunder you're going to be hearing. It's, like, it's crazy over here. See, as you can see, like <sighs> there's just nothing on my cheeks and I'm like going in. Um, you're going to have to let me know. If you got this palette, is that the way yours is? Because I just, like, I hardly get any payoff. Like, it's pretty, but y'all know me. I love a blinding highlight. So, I'm going to take this opportunity and show you my new highlighter from Charlotte Tilbury. Oh, this packaging. It's so, so beautiful. And this is what the inside looks like. Mm, I love it. I just want to show y'all, like, I'm just going to barely touch into it and let you see, like, did you see that? Like how blinding it can elevate your look. This is such a good highlighter. And even though, so these two, there's no glitter, but in these two, there are some glitter in there. And it's it does not enhance my texture at all, but like it's so, such a beautiful glow. Okay, so now for the exciting part, we are jumping into the Three Licks One palette with the absolutely beautiful palette. Um, and also on my skin today, if you're curious, I've got the Rare Beauty, the, what is this called? The Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer Broad Spectrum SPF 20. Um, I do have a review on this. And the concealer from Lawless. This is the Conceal the Deal. So if you're curious, I do have reviews on both of those on my channel. Okay, so for the first look, I'm thinking I kind of want to do a halo look because I never do halo looks. I'm going to use the blue for like the star of the show and I'm going to mix the mattes like on the, the crease. That's what my game plan is. I'm just going to mix. I'm just going to go like from these two and blend that in on the outer and inner part. This eyeshadow palette is very similar to the first one. 
but in my opinion this one is just more vibrant i like the color story better um i don't know it's something about it it just like it gets to me i really enjoy it but both of them i love both of them don't get me wrong and i'm just kind of like doing windshield wiper motions to help that blend because um these are very pigmented <laughs> all my brushes are dirty from my nomad cosmetics like the paradise islands palette like they're all blue and like crazy i gotta clean my brushes I'm going to pop into this shade just to really deepen it out on the outer and inner. Now, as I said, these are very pigmented as all of Pat McGrath shadows are. So just be very light-handed and go in with a little and then you can start building up as you go. So for the halo part on the center, I'm going to go in with a little bit of concealer and blend that out so the blue really pops. To blend that out, I'm just taking my blinged brushes, the... E14 from the Starry Nights collection and I'm just going to pat that on the lid and kind of work it on up because I have got hooded eyes and I want you to be able to see this when my eyes are open as well. I'm just going to go into my finger into the beautiful blue and put that on the lid but um you know if you're not the type of person that doesn't like to go in with your finger just wet your brush so you can get like maximum payoff. And I'm just taking it on up really high. Now it's time for some more blending. So those two colors will mesh together. On the inner corner, I'm going to take this shade. It's beautiful and blinding. It just adds such a beautiful pop on the inner corner. I mean, oh, it's so stunning. It's so funny. I never get mascara on my lid until I start filming. And then I always get mascara all over my lid. So... I have to let that dry and then I have to start blending again and then we'll be back with a finished look. Okay, so this is a finished look for look number one. Man, I think it's so stunning. I never do a halo look and I need to do it more, but um, I just, I think these colors are so beautiful together. Okay, so for look number two, I think I'm going to do like a cut crease. Challenge myself because I do the same stuff over and over. I can't take myself seriously with like... <laughs> two different knots. Okay, so I'm just going to do exactly what I did before and mix these two together and put that all in the crease. And it's okay if it looks messy and crazy because I'll be putting concealer to cut my crease and <laughs> I've got um, eyeshadow on my chin. That's probably been there the whole video, sorry. But yeah, it's okay if it looks kind of crazy because we'll clean that up with concealer I just want to challenge myself a little, or a lot, <laughs> and do that cut crease. Now I'm going to deepen out the outer part with the darkest matte and kind of add some definition on the outer part. I'm going to go with my tried and true, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Magic Touch Conceal because this never does me wrong and I really don't want to do the loss just because I don't know how that will work on my lids. But we're going to go in and cut this crease. Wish me luck. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to blend that out with the same brush. The, what is this? The E14 from the Starry Nights collection. And, um, hopefully I do a good job. What is your go-to eye look? Like, y'all know mine. It's just super easy, like, a shade in the crease, a shade on the outer corner to, like, deepen it up. And then throw a, a shimmer on top. That's, like, my go-to, like, my comfort zone. Um, but I want to know, like, what is your favorite look to do on your eyes oh look at this green how beautiful can you just imagine if all six of these like were unique like this just all so different and special that's what i'm talking about because like look at that payoff so as you can see when you blend it out with your finger like it's got a very green dark dark green base and then like that gold shimmer on top now I'm going to go back into this matte and start working that on the inner corner to really deepen it up and kind of help it blend out the green. On the inner corner, I'm going to go back into this shade and really make it pop and kind of brighten up a little bit higher because it's such a dark look. I feel like on the lower lash line, we need green. We need to have a green moment. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go in with my finger and start running that all over the lower lash line for a fun pop of green. This is a finished look for a look number two. You know I'm a sucker for a good green look. I think this turned out absolutely beautiful. Let me know what you think. 
Okay, so I'm going to go wash off look number one and two, and I'll be back to do look number three, and that will be the final look. Okay, I had to pin my hair up for look number three. So, I think for this look, I want to do something super, super easy um, and beautiful nonetheless. I'm really wanting to go in with this Astro Blitz and put that like all over the lid and then put the mat like really deep in the outer corner um so yeah that's my game plan I just want to do something super super easy everyone can do it um but yeah I'm gonna work this little this light pink in first so we can get a very easy transition and I'm trying to be really careful because as you can see this is like pretty vibrant and I don't want the pink to take over so I'm kind of doing it very light so we don't go too pink but um as you can see this palette if you don't mix and match your other mattes and your other eyeshadow palettes you can get a very pink look every time unless you really challenge yourself now i want to go in with the darker matte and put that in the outer corners for some definition so as you can see the the difference between this matte and the other pink matte but this palette like it's super super pigmented and very vibrant um that's what I love about it like you don't have to just blend and blend and blend and keep building up like it just it's such a good formula and I keep it really on the outer part so it kind of makes my eyes look bigger all right now I'm gonna get I'm gonna clean my brush off and then start working that into the crease just a little bit okay so this next part I would recommend if you have glitter glue apply it because it's gonna be a flaky mess this beautiful shade right here I'm going to go in with that on my finger and just put that all over the lid. Um, first, I'm going to spray my face. Maybe it will like adhere to this because I'm out of glitter glue, which I need to pick up glitter glue and lashes like in the worst way. And I'm going to kind of tilt my head back to help um, not get as much fallout. So I'm just going to start working this in on both lids to get it blinding. So now that that shade is down, I'm going to move to the lower lash line and let that dry because I just soaked it in setting spray so I wouldn't get any fallout. And then I'm going to work on blending. And then we shall be wrapping this up. I'm going to attempt a wing. We shall see. I'm going to clean up kind of the blending and then we'll be back with the finished look. Okay, so this is a finished look for look number three, and I was going to go for a very simple, cute, small wing, and then I was on Instagram, and I saw, like, all these really pretty posts with these, like, editorial wings, and I was like, I want to do a big wing, so we went for it, girl. Um, I suck at wings, I'm just saying, so if they're sisters, they're not twins, it is what it is, I'm just playing and trying to have fun. I love this Pat McGrath Labs eyeliner, like, I, it will take me, like, 10-15 minutes to do a wing and then almost every single time I wash my makeup off because it's so like uneven with my hooded eyes but this I can get a wing in like two minutes one minute like it's so good so I don't know I'm excited it's just making me feel some type of way so this is a finished look for look number three um this is I like number one and I like this look look number two is like not my favorite um but regardless I still liked it but I think this is my favorite look, if I'm just being honest. But let me know what is your favorite look because I am loving this palette. Um, follow me on Instagram because I've got some looks over there with it as well. But this quality is so, so good. I know it's very similar to the first one, but you can still get such spe such special looks with the green. And this blue is very different than the first. This um, beautiful Astro Blitz just adds such a fun pop to the look. This inner corner highlight, like, is a game changer. The mattes are vibrant. There's nothing, like, bad to say about this palette. Every single shade in here is excellent. I swear, lightning just struck, like, outside. It was so freaking loud. Like, everything in my room was shaking. I'm, like, looking, like, making sure I don't get hit with, any, with anything. So, I'm going to wrap this video up so it's not, like, interfering with the audio. Um, and I'm going to try to get this edited before our power goes out again. <laughs> but... Regardless, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you are interested in like my hair, stay tuned. I have a haul coming and I found some like really good products, but I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know what was your favorite look. Um, let me know did you pick up this palette. I have been loving it so, so much, but regardless, wherever you are in the world, I hope that you are doing well. I hope that you are healthy, happy, and safe. Stay beautiful. Bye, guys.